Well, good evening. Uh, tonight, it's, uh, it's after one, it's a little bit late. We're going to do something uh, a little different uh, in the Unreal world. Um, we're going to be using version 3.3.0, and we're going to be using the Steam version. And what we're going to do is we're going to install Kalma's Mod of the Dead, uh, which kind of seems appropriate at this time of night. Uh, what it is, is uh, it's a trainer that uh, allows you to uh, build a uh, dummy and uh, train your combat skills, which is uh, something that's been looked for in, in the Unreal world for a while. Uh, let me go ahead and see what... Uh, so I have my Steam running right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and launch the game uh, once I put the, put the mod in. Uh, there's no mods currently running uh, in this Steam version. Uh, let's see, here's, uh, this is the, the forum for the game site. Uh, I do have a, a topic here in the modding section uh, for, for this mod. Uh, little, just a little backstory because I didn't want to just produce a mod with, for no reason. Uh, there's a the menu, so we'll go ahead and shrink that down. Okay, come over here to my downloads. Uh, and here's the uh, 1.0 version. Uh, this is the first anyone's had a look at this, uh, aside from a, a couple of people that I know or I've dealt with on the forums that uh, took a look at it for me. Uh, for this release, I did do a lot of work making the menus uh, a little cleaner. Uh, so you open the zip file, uh, you have some text files and uh, a graphics directory. Uh, readme file just basically tells you about the mod itself come over here to uh, now this is the steam version uh, of my unreal world so I'm going to take and just copy these text files uh, right into the root folder and then I'm going to take the graphics directory and drag it here and so it will copy those into, into the game directory. Uh, so we copied the text files, copied over the graphics folder, close the zip, uh, we can shrink that down, get rid of my downloads directory, and uh, once I start on real world I can go ahead and switch off of my full screen. Uh, One save character. Now, uh, let's see if I can get this to switch properly. All right, I think it's switching. Now we're looking at just just my game screen. Uh, we've all probably had survivors that uh, it just seems like guys throw themselves at you and you end up having to fight for your life uh, most of the time. Uh, this guy that I have here, this save, is one of them, so he has a, a stack of bodies that we can deal with uh, to, to go ahead and run through the mod, and, and I'll show you how, how it works. Okay, so here he is at home. Uh, looks like it's late here, too. My dogs were asleep. Uh, so the mod, uh, I'm going to go into the make menu, and uh, we add three directories for the for the mod. Uh, there's uh, the body works, uh, where you actually uh, end up cutting up uh, your enemies. Uh, go back in there. There is uh, the Kalma directory, which is uh, tributes to the goddess. Uh, now Kalma is the Finnish goddess of uh, decaying flesh essentially uh, and so the mod kind of is is wrapped around that mythology uh, and you're 
purpose is to uh, basically kill Nerpi's warriors uh, and sacrifice their bodies to Kalma. Uh, so inside here we have uh, some, some tasks that we can do uh, to appease and, and deal with the goddess. And then down here in the combat, once you've actually obtained your, uh, your training dummies, uh, you can come in here and actually train your combat skills, not your not uh, not the not these skills up here. I'm talking about training these skills down here, uh, expressly focused on uh, on raising those skills for your warrior type uh, characters. And now it uh, requires a, a warrior type character because. Uh, it does take a, a few bodies to get to get through this this mod. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to start up. Uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll see if we can talk to the goddess and, and get uh, her devotion, which is a which is a stone necklace. Uh, let's see, we're going to need a fire, and we're going to need the head of a Nerpes warrior. Okay. Uh, well, fortunately, I do have. Some uh, some Nerpes warriors here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, scoop this guy up, and we're going to come over here and start a fire. Uh, and now, go ahead and come into our body works. And uh, we'll see if we can't take this guy's head off. And so it's telling us uh, that we need to be, uh, we need to have a Nerpes, a dead Nerpes warrior with us. Uh, we need a knife to, to take his head off. Uh, we just did a little chant there in front of the fire to, uh, to call the goddess. And now we'll uh, go ahead and offer up this guy's corpse. Uh, and, and hopefully she'll uh, help us out. Okay, so now if I go to my inventory, I believe I made these items, uh, I made them valuable so that they'll all stack down here at the bottom. Uh, and so we have a, uh, the head of a warrior here. And let me go ahead and, just because cause I can, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to throw this thing. I'm going to throw this guy's head over there. So, so there's the head that we just took. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up because we actually need that. And now I'm going back in and uh, let's go ahead and talk to the goddess and see if we can get... Uh, oh, that's right, we needed the fire. So we'll rush back to our fire before it goes out. And we'll talk to the goddess and tell her, uh, here's a head. How about uh, you give us a necklace? Okay, and uh, I'll go into my inventory here real quick. And here we see the necklace. And so I'll go ahead and wear that. Okay, now the next step is going to be to collect all the body parts that we need to, to make our dummy. So, uh, I'm not sure if I need fire or not, so I'm going to go ahead and put some here just in case I need it. And we'll grab up another one of these guys. Since I used the the first head that I took to get uh, to get the necklace, I have to take another head here for my uh, for my dummy. Oh, I'll go ahead and offer that up and scroll down. I'm scrolling down to show you that uh, the first head got uh, t consumed to, to get the necklace. We now have uh, one warrior's head. 
uh, pick up another guy. And we'll come up here. And now we're going to go ahead and try to get uh, a, a torso uh, that we can use for our dummy. And so it's going to tell us uh, that we need to uh, have in our possession uh, Kalma's devotion. We need to be holding this guy, have a knife. Uh, we'll again do a chant. Uh, and then we'll offer up uh, the remains of this guy to the goddess, which will make her happy because she, she really loves rotting corpses. And my fire went out. My dogs are being so good and not barking. Okay, we'll take this guy. And I'm going to probably start getting close to weight here pretty soon because I am carrying a guy's torso and a guy's head around. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drop those right here. Uh, I'm going to drop his head right there. Drop his torso right there. And then we'll come over here and get a pair of legs. And we'll go back in here. We'll go back over the body works. Uh, we need to take a pair of warrior's legs. Uh, so again, we need to possess Kalma's devotion. Uh, we need a dead warrior, a dead Nerpes warrior, uh, a knife to, to cut his legs off. We'll chant in front of the fire and offer him up to the goddess. And I guess it took a little while longer to get through his legs. And now we'll go ahead and set his legs actually right on top of his torso. And it took me a really long time to get this graphic to line up right so it would do that. And so the head is actually on this space and then the torso and the legs are both on this space. Uh, okay, so now, now we've built or we've, we've uh, acquired all the pieces of, of a guy that we need to, to build our training dummy. Uh, the next thing we need, let's see, let's go in here and we'll see if she'll do it for us. Uh, let's see, oh, we need to make the frame of a dummy first. Okay, uh, let's see, and we need Kalma's devotion, and it will be consumed uh, in this process. Uh, we need a couple of slender trunks, a couple of wooden stakes, some rope, a shovel, and a knife. Okay, I believe I did set up here most of the things we need. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just stand on this. I have two wooden stakes and two tree trunks here. Uh, and I believe I should have what we need to make this happen. Okay, uh, so I'm going to lose my, de my Kalma's devotion here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this piece of cord. I have a shovel to dig the hole to stick it into and a knife for the carving. We'll go ahead and build our our frame. Okay, so there's there's the frame that we're gonna that we're gonna put our dummy onto. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a take a bite to eat my character here. This is this is hard work. Okay, and let's see. Uh, okay, and just because I know this, because well. I wrote it. Uh, we're going to need another devotion for, for the next step, so, so what we're going to have to do is go ahead and get our fire ready. And we'll pick up another guy. Uh, oh, not that guy. That, that's, that guy's that's something else. Uh, we'll pick this guy up. Start our fire. And we'll go 
back into the body works. Collect another head. And now we'll go back over to Kalma and we'll get a devotion. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and scoop this guy up. Well, the, the pieces of this guy up. Oh, sorry, wrong key. Hit inventory instead of uh, grab from in front of me. And, and I just, I just love to do this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. I won't throw him very far though. Holding the pieces uh, of, of our guy, uh, so we have all three pieces. Uh, where uh, we do again possess Kalma's devotion, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on again. And and you don't have to wear it. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and ask. Uh, actually, we're going to go ahead and assemble our dummy. And so what we're gonna actually we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pick up our, our frame here, I think. Actually I might just need to stand up, let's see. Yep, yeah, I do. I have to I have to scoop it up. Alright. So now we're holding the the uh, the dummy frame and the three pieces of our dummy guy. And we'll assemble. somewhere up oh, and I see that I have a typo right there so if, uh, I'm gonna pause for one second I'm gonna fix that that typo in my uh, item and I will be right back okay all right so uh, I had messed with some menus earlier uh, in order to get uh, in order to get the colored menus versus them being the, the standard yellow menus uh, and so it messed up uh, one of one of the items, and so I'll fix the naming uh, once once I finish this. But I fixed it so that we can still continue forward. Uh, it was actually this step right here that that was messed up, and it named it that this name. It named it that instead of just dummy frame. It named it make it a dummy frame. Uh, and so I've I've changed that so that the game so that it'll continue to run for me, and I'll fix that code. Uh, and so the task we were at, we were going to go ahead and try to assemble. Our, uh, our dummy because uh, we, we're holding the pieces and we're holding the frame uh, so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna talk to her and uh, hope she'll help us fix the frame and of course now it sees everything and actually uh, it would have it would have picked the frame off of the ground had I had the name correct to begin with uh, and it says okay we have everything that we need uh, and if you notice it will again consume uh, the devotion in order to produce a dummy. And there we go. There's there's our there's there's a dummy. Now, unfortunately, we're not done yet. So we uh, are gonna need, of course, you guessed it, another uh, another devotion. dog is burning up right now. I shouldn't go into cooking because my dog is cooking. There we go. I'm having problems with my menus here because it's way late in the morning, early in the morning. All right. Uh, so we just assembled our, our dummy. No, oh, I, I know. We need, to, we need to go back to Body Works. This guy's head off for his body. And now we collected uh, his head, so now we can get another devotion. Uh, my 
dog must be. No, I don't want to. Oh, okay, it's an eagle owl. My dogs can go chase that around. Okay, so so now we've uh, obtained another devotion. which we would have needed here. And now, uh, I'm going to scoop up our dummy, and we'll go in and try to collect our reward for having fed her all of these Nerpees warriors. And so we'll pick collect. And now the dummy, uh, I've reduced it at this point to only three pounds. Um, and I did it that way because if if you if I would have just done a quantity of one, it would automatically pick the first item here and fill it in. By picking a weight, uh, you can actually select which skill you want to uh, to train. So I don't want to do knife skill. Oh, I just hit tab, and I didn't want to do that. Uh, I wanted to hit escape, so I'm going to just hit escape because I don't want that one. I don't want sword skill. I don't want club skill. I'll go ahead and do axe skill. So I'll need to scroll down and find my uh, my dummy. And you see it's uh, three pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on my dummy, and it'll check that one check mark. Uh, and now I'll hit escape and escape. And now we're ready to go, and I've committed that I'm going to spend my dummy and all of the guys and, and the work to, to get my axe, or to be able to raise axe skill. Alright, and there is our actual skill training dummy. Um, go ahead and examine it. And I see an axe skill dummy. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, I think I have an axe here. Use a hand axe, and we will combat. And I'll pick axe practice. still, uh, and this is, uh, I couldn't do it right away because he's still preparing. In order for me to force it to be on the ground, I have to set a wait time, which is uh, is one minute, so I just need to kill a turn or two. And then there he is. Now I can, now I can attack him. Actually, I can't. Uh, and I know that because, again, I, because I made it. Uh, so I'm going to pick up another guy. And, uh, Start another fire. No, I wish my birds would catch that. Or my dogs would catch that bird. I'm going to go ahead and wear that one because this one I'm keeping with me. And now I can come over here and combat train and train my axe skill. And you, you get a, a couple of little shards off of your training dummy. And now, uh, you'll notice that my ritual skill is also up. Um, 
all of the tasks except the actual weapons training is uh, it feeds your ritual skills. And oh, I was going to check my axe skill here. Uh, 72, so it may take us a, a, a few tries to, to get it to, if it'll even go up. So I'm going to just hit R to repeat the task. Now your skills will go up faster for low skills than, than of course high skills. Uh, and 72, I probably should have picked something like flail and it would have gone up probably right away. Chip fragments that come off uh, are, are just uh, a wood splinter, so they'll they'll burn. And there we go. Uh, and so my axe skill has gone up from 72 to 73. Uh, it took a, a few iterations uh, of of training. Uh, didn't go all the way to where he was. You know, uh, ready to drop um, and that uh, is the first look at Kalma the mod of the dead uh, combat training dummies so the way I have the mods set uh, requires seven bodies seven uh, sacrifices uh, to get through the, the whole process and build yourself uh, a dummy uh, for one particular skill. Um, so if you wanted to train more than one skill, you, you need to, to provide a lot more bodies. Uh, I think that, uh, that about sums it up. I uh, hope you all enjoy it. Have a great night. Bye.